Well, this week, astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams are trying to navigate gravity after being in space for more than nine months. It'll take them a lot of time to adjust to life back on Earth. I mean, it really is a lot that they were going through, um, so it's going to take them some time to adjust as they get yep. back here. So um, we have uh, Arian um, Anderson. Yeah, that's right. Yes, yeah, so we want to talk to you um, a little bit about what it takes to prepare to go on a flight like this. Yeah, I mean, it, it takes a lot. Um, I, it honestly starts with astronaut selection. So in 2020, the last selection, there were uh, 12,000 people who applied to be NASA astronauts. They took 10. Um, and the people that they're choosing just have like, they have what we call the right stuff. They have that resiliency. They understand what it takes to respond in an emergency. And then we take those people and we train them for months and months and months and prepare them, their minds, their bodies, their technical skills to be successful in space for as long as they need to be up there. Absolutely. Well, Lauren, I mean, we've been talking about for how long now that they, Butch, and, uh, Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams were supposed to come back. They ended up spending a lot more time than they bargained for up there. I'm just curious, as you get to reacclimating back on Earth, does that big of a time difference have an impact on you? It, it definitely does. Um, you know, if when they initially were planned to go up there for eight days, 10 days, that sort of thing, you readapt to Earth's gravity pretty quickly. Um, so when you come back, you come off the vehicle, you're waving, you're you know kissing your kids, right. you're, you know you're out in the crowd. When you're up there for nine months, the the it, it takes a lot of support. The crew gets pulled out of the capsule. They get immediate medical evaluation. They feel kind of woozy. They don't want to stand up too quickly, or they they feel like they may pass out. And so um, your body really like atrophies while you're in space for that long. Yeah, that is absolutely wild. I mean, especially when they're up there for so long. Um, what do you think they were feeling like when they got back down to Earth? I'm sure it was kind of a, a, a mixed bag. The, these folks are professionals. They've spent their lives training to live and work in space. Right. And they got a little bit more than they bargained for, but I think they also love being up there. And so they were happy to be home with their families. They're happy to be back on Earth. But I also think that they're getting towards the end of their careers. And I think it was probably a little bit um, you know, sad to, to think that this might be their last chance sure. coming back uh, to Earth from space. Yeah, absolutely. OK, you were kind of talking about a little bit like with the atrophy. What actually happens to somebody's body when they're in space? Yeah, how much time do you have? <laughs> yeah, right. uh, it, it's a lot. And yeah. so you know, our bodies have evolved to live here on Earth in Earth's gravity. And so when you go to space, basically every system, every part of your body um, changes. You know, um, your muscles start to weaken, your bones get a little bit less dense. Fluid, instead of gravity pulling it down, kind of shifts to your head. And so you'll see their heads get kind of puffy and they right. get sinus congestion. And so basically, you know, my work at the University of Colorado is looking at all of those aspects, all those changes that occur, and figure out ways can we lessen those impacts and can we counteract those, those effects to keep people healthy, especially as like this becomes more accessible. More and more people are gonna go to space in the next few years. And then, you know, beyond that, it could just be like you and I could go up there. Right. And so how do we keep people healthy and happy and productive while they're there? Yeah. And these are the things that we don't really think about, right? No, not think, at oh all. My God, it's so cool they're not going to all. space, but it's really important to talk about this kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stressors that go on the body. And fortunately, the NASA astronauts have a phenomenal team around them. I, I think of them like professional athletes. Absolutely. So they come back and they have rehab specialists. They have strength and conditioning coaches. And after a few weeks of really intensive rehab, they're back to where they started. But it certainly takes some work. All right, Aaron, we appreciate you making the time for us this morning. Fascinating conversation. We can nerd out all morning long. So yeah. thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for having me.